Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint a simple objects with different values. You can see the material that I use in the description. I would love to see how you do and give you my feedback. So if you can, come join me on Patreon and access my full learning center. This video is sponsored by Enjoying Art Brushes. These quality brushes give you a whole different experience in watercolor painting. Learn more and order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. We want to consider the catch the shadow part of the artwork. In that case, I'm going to move the object slightly a little bit to the left hand side. So create a balance with the catch shadow. And let's take a look at the top and the bottom of the object where you want to place it. So you want to think about just use the two fingers. So the bottom will be here. The top would be here. Okay. I remember that. That's the top over here. That's the bottom. You want to put it right there. After you set the top and the bottom, and then you're going to thinking about the left and the right. So. Take a look at the left side over here, the right side over here. They're probably good. So I'm going to put that over here. And the right side could be here. But you're not quite sure yet. You only can set the height or the width. Uh, and then you're going to relay the other part to get the correct proportion. Let's look at the whole object. It looks like almost like a circle, right? So. I'm going to see that the top, if the top over here and the top of the circle would be about here, right? So I'm going to just roughly, I'm going to keep that the left side proximally here. Just use the short uh, line, dotted line like that, and just roughly draw that. So if you think about this is the main part of the object. And the top, uh, it will be here. We need to relate how wide that, that shape would be. This kind of object, we can consider it as a compound object. A compound object, you can see two or three simple shapes connect together to create, to combine together to create uh, the whole object. Okay, let's take a look. I think this can be come out a little bit more like that. Okay, let's take a look at the measurement. I really want to find out whether or not this is a perfect circle. So I'm going to measure it right on the reference. Actually, the width a little bit more than the height of this. And it's not too much. I'm going to take a look over here whether or not it looks the same. Oh, actually, it's got it right. Just a little bit higher than the, a uh, little bit longer than the height of this circle. So I got it right already. So it's good to check and confirm it. The second thing, I want to draw the center line. Okay. Right over here, the center line, also using the little dotted lines, just making sure they align together. Okay, like that. That's the center line. So that means this cylinder will be aligned to this center line as well. Okay, now we're going to find out how many of this width of the cylinder on the width of this circle. And I'm going to compare. Hmm, interesting. The width of the circle, the widest point, is almost three of this. So that make it very easy. So I'm going to do that right here, like that. And you can see this is would be three of them, right? Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to move this up and relay that to here. And the center line is still center, right? 
This is pretty good. Now I can just add these two. There, this is pretty good. Now the bottom over here and make a little bit curve. And we're gonna talk about the how this how do we lay the oval shape. So this is the bottom over here has an oval shape like that. And the top over here also have oval shape. And the top is about here. So we can draw a center line over here too for the horizontal. And you can see that from here, moving like this, this become the top oval. Right? And you can see compare this top oval shape is a little bit narrower than the top the bottom oval shape over here. Uh, this is the perspective for cylindrical. And also you can see the bottom over here too. That's the bottom over here. You can see another oval shape. And the middle, if you have seen the line over here, and, and each of this, you can see that as, as there is a oval shape. That's an oval shape. And Okay, this is pretty good. I'm going to see the wall over here, the width of this is right in here. That's pretty good. Draw this shape. All right, very good. Now I'm going to add the handle. You got the handles right in here. Get into almost the half of the width. Okay, here we go coming out here. Now take a look at the bottom. Where is it? The bottom is about here. It's almost from the top to the bottom, a halfway. Okay, that would be here, right? This from here to here, it goes here to there. And here you go. Now I'm gonna come up right. That's good. Coming down over here. And this side coming all the way down over here, like that. So it doesn't need to be come out that much. Only like this. That's pretty good. And have to catch the shadow right over here. And have to catch the shadow from here coming up. So here it looks like a triangle shape. Okay, here we go. And then take a look at the shadow and the shadow side of the object right in here. Okay, this is good. Now we're going to add the catch the shadow. Coming here. So this is a very good. We're going to smooth out, connect all the outline. Okay, take your time for the drawing. That's good. Connect that down over here. Okay, wonderful. Now the drawing is already finished and we're gonna move on to the painting. Before I start the painting, I want to remove any unnecessary pencil mark. I only leave the uh, very soft line. That's good. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little color to the main object. Now I'm going to mix the color. Uh, I can first get the yellow and the red and then add the present blue and now it become great. Okay, now it's a little bit yellow, got a little bit red, and that would be, this is good. I'm gonna start with this color, okay? And I'm gonna add a little water and star right from here. Okay, look at the shadow side on this side, as well as the main up the, the neck over here. 
and as well as this side have a little bit more and the bottom over here have a little bit more like that that's pretty good now i'm going to put that right in the object over here since we are painting this is that okay to get into the background as well now i'm going to actually put this become part of the background um, now i'm going to just going to clean the brush and soften the edge right in here okay this is pretty good and now i'm going to put the whole background together now this will be the good time to also put it into the outside here you go like that okay that depends on how much you want the light area to stand out uh, going to have uh, you can change the color for the background if you want to i'm going to get a little bit blue over here and let's see that's good now i'm going to put this right at the outside okay and over here too here you go and i'm going to coming back here to separate the background from the light area of the object here you go look carefully that's good and the top over here too take a look carefully going around the outside shape that's good wonderful i can have this also merge into here because this is also a little bit darker okay that's just good now we have the light area become more exclusive and that's good then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to continue developing the larger shape what we're seeing here is only light and shadow light and shadow light and shadow okay i'm gonna have the blue coming over here now it's a lot more a lot darker i'm gonna get a little bit more blue now a little bit more cool this is good i'm gonna mix it a little bit well this is good more blue this is good now more like a gray color so this is good i'm gonna coming back over here and take a look at the little bit darker area right in here that's good all right i'm also going to use just the corner of this brush okay and walking into here that's good now i get a little bit darker in that I'm going to also moving this up a little bit like that. Here you go. And then I'm going to put it right in here. At the same time over here, we want the outside to look a little bit darker than the inside over here. So I can just put this color on the outside here too. And just think about the whole outside and I'll say just the light and shadow right now is there's a light area the rest is the shadow area so let's see now coming here that's the shadow I'm gonna have a little bit more blue in here I'm gonna add a little bit more blue and under this side okay the bottom over here That's good. Now I'm going to have this going into their uh, cast shadow as well. Why is still wet? This is good. I'm going to have a little dry brush going through over here. And I have a little dry brush coming on the outside here too. Okay, I can have this coming a little bit softer like that. This is good. Okay, don't worry too much about. Don't get too nervous. 
And right now the outside is getting dry already. This is pretty good. You don't have to be trying to make everything perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit warmer color. So I'm gonna get the little yellow and the red. A little bit, tiny, tiny, tiny warmer color for the uh, mid-tone over here, okay? I'm gonna get a little bit water, but don't use too much water, okay? Now I'm gonna get a little bit blue over here too. I think this is good. Okay, that's good. Now let go most of the water in this brush. Now I'm gonna just having this connected, okay? And making sure that it is not really too much wet compared to the sisting. Um, color that on the paper in this area. This is good. A little bit curve like this. I'm gonna also make this a little bit softer too. Yeah, here you go. Have a little bit softer. Now it's just the water. Okay, that's good. Connect that in right here. And, and then I'm just use the water. Just the brush is clean. I'm gonna soften this here coming a little bit, make a little bit softer. Now we already get the impressions of the object that is very curved. And in this case, I'm going to also do a little lifting. Just light up a little bit on this side. Because this is a little bit lighter uh, compared to the outside. Okay. Now you go. So move up, lift up a little bit color. You don't want to lift up too much. Okay, this is good. Wonderful. Now we're going to continue softening right here. Just use this brush, this 45 degree to the paper and doing like that. Make it a little bit softer. This is good. Light it up. Okay. That's good. Keep that. Make a little bit softer down over here. Okay, wonderful. Now, at the top over here, after they fully dry the whole thing, and then I'm gonna come back over here to make the outside a little bit darker, so to make the top pop up a little bit more. But at this point, we need to wait a little bit. So I'm gonna use the small brush, the calligraphy brush. Now I'm gonna softening over here too. Okay, make sure that it's a little bit lighter. Just using lifting like that. Okay, wonderful. And the outside over here, we can softening over here. Just lift up the color. Be patient. Watch this video at least one time, and knowing the whole process how it works before you start painting it yourself. And now I'm going to add, and this is a little bit broken over here, so softening over here. We can come back to rebuild the, uh, the edge a little bit later. Okay, this is good. Now we're going to add some darker color. Now I'm going to remix the color, get the red and the prussian blue. A little bit darker, got a little red. Person blue, this is good. Now I'm gonna use this color, open up the brush. I'm gonna just put that color right in the edge over here, that's good. Now this is a little bit darker. Okay, this is good, like that. And just tap on it to give a little bit more. And right it at this spot, we're also going to make this a little bit darker like that. And over here in this area, we can also add that darker color here too. And here we go. I put that a little bit darker color over here as well. Just look at where's the difference in the value in the different places. So now I'm going to open up the brush like that. I'm going to add a little bit more right here. This is still pretty wet. So we want to uh, squeeze some of the color 
the darker tone into the space here, and it would automatically um, merge into the color. It's already there because it's still very wet. So we're gonna keep the bottom over here a little bit like that too. Now this is good. Now this is called squeeze the color in. Uh, now I'm going to add some color, even drive a little bit darker. So get the blue again, a little bit more blue, and that's just good. Now I'm gonna make this to be even darker. Now I'm gonna shape the brush a little bit better. Okay, that's just good. Right here. A little bit more darker. Also, oh, it's still wet. That's good. And keep it a little bit soft. Okay. That is very good. And I'm going to add a little bit darker tone at the top over there too. And let's just add the darker tone. And also think about what color is this. And I think this is the color, the same color on the edge here that in the mid-tone is going to get a little bit warmer. Okay, here we go. Coming this color, coming down. That's good, like this. And also have this color spread it. Gradually coming to here. Now the top here is getting dry already. Okay. And coming down. This is good. Wonderful. And gradually we create a, um, the form and by using different value. Now the top over here looks just pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit warmer color into here too. Like a little bit. Now coming down over here, you can see, you can see this color continue coming down and merge into here. We're gonna have a little bit more blue. And it's looking at the temperature of the color. This is good. Like that. And we're gonna have remove this color a little bit and have this softly connect in here. And we're gonna make the background a little bit darker on this side. So it's gonna make this separate even more from the object. Now I'm gonna add a little bit warm color onto here for the transition, okay? That's good. That's a little bit warmer. That's good at the bottom here. Now I'm gonna have a little bit, a little bit cooler color. And see that right here, that's good. So analyzing it, okay, be patient. You can find it. You can see the color and the top over here. And this also need to be a little bit darker. It's just not just automatically think about black and white. Think about is that more red, more yellow, or more blue color, right? That's good. Now I'm gonna put a little color in the top area. Start from a little bit warmer right here. Okay, coming all the way here. Here you go. Now a little bit lighter on this side. Just pick, give it a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to add a little bit darker color. Just get a little bit blue and red color here. And let's see. I'm going to put this in from the left side. Now the wet, it would help you to make the color fade into the lighter area. So that's is good. It may be even a little bit darker. Get a little bit red and the blue color again. And a little bit more red. Ooh, that's too much. I'm gonna get a little yellow and get a little bit more blue. There you go, that's is good. A little bit more blue even a little bit more. That's just good, perfect. 
Now I'm going to put the inside over here has a little bit darker. That's the darkest in this area. Like that. Open up. That's good. Perfect. Like that. And now come back over here to set the dark color over here. And also an edge here. Right over here. Also a little bit darker. I'm going to make this also a little bit darker coming out okay that's as good we're setting it a lot more better more convincing more dynamic changes i'm gonna have this also a little bit softer here too just set a little bit soft color it's okay let the color softly blend into the outside so this is a very good and at this point, I'm going to start adding the cast shadow, okay? Now, it's still a little wet over here, so I'm going to mix a little bit. See, the red and have the blue, we already have the color over here. So we're going to add this a little bit blue color, okay? Have the brush open up a little bit to see how is that work. So I'm going to put that right in the outside. Okay, this is the outside area. This is good. Right there. Here you go. This is the outside. Okay, that's just wonderful. Like that. Okay. Now I can apply the cat shadow. Okay, let's see. I'm going to touch it. It's still wet. So, we just put a little bit so we when it dry it's much easier to control we're just gonna apply a little bit test the color and also here can a little bit darker over there too okay that's good like that now i'm gonna open up the brush and spread the color a little bit bigger like that here we go That's good. Looking for the shape. Now look for, uh, look at, it could be a little bit red. Okay. A little bit brownish color. I'm going to open the brush up a little bit. I'm going to continue. Spread the color into the cat shadow shape. Okay, that's good. Like this. Very good. Yeah, make the edge a little bit softer. Like that, have all the way extended to the edge. Yeah, take a look over here. Make it a little bit softer. Now this is good. Now we're gonna come back over here, make the bottom even darker. I'm gonna get a little bit more blue with the red. Now we can make it a lot darker. Okay, and usually this area is the darkest area because no light get into that. Here you go. Here you go. That's as good. Wonderful. And now the outside over here is already dry. And while we are looking at this, I also want to make this a little bit softer. I can use the little water to make it softer. Blend it outside. Now we're going to work on the outside background one more time. And we're going to do the adjusting. Okay, the outside, I'm going to have some yellow and the red, a little blue, right? It's all coming from these three colors. And this is good. A little bit yellow. And get a little bit blue from here. Okay. I'm going to mix that right here. That's as good. All right. Now I'm going to just put another wash on the outside. Just thinking about. Is that. Is that. 
too dark or just right. I'm thinking about that and put it on this side first. And I'm going to take a look. And outside over here is going to be a, a little bit lighter than the inside. So I'm going to brush that from the inside to the outside because that color is going to apply to both inside and outside. And the inside also need to be darker too. Okay. Now I'm going to brush that over. Here you go. Now I'm going to coming down right here. I'm going to also wash that into the inside of the object. Now I'm going to have this connected. Here we go. That's just good. Now I'll take a look on this side. Do we want this lighter? Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to have this a little bit more clear. So, okay, I'm going to make this just a little bit, a little bit. Contrast, that's good. Like that. And take a look at the S, the left side over here, a little bit lighter. Here you go. Now I'm going to go around. That's good. And then while we are doing here, we're going to also set it into the inside over here. Make it a little bit uh, softer. Okay. That's good. Now it's already appeared to be three dimensional. I'm going to make this a little bit softer for the transition. Okay, I'll lift up a little bit over here, make a little bit softer right over there. And also the light hit the object and bounce back to uh, hit the object, bounce back to the front over here. So this is, can be also a little bit lighter as well. I can light up a little bit over here. And if this is the red object, you can see a little bit red color at the front over here. This is the white object, so it appear to be a little bit lighter at the front here too. Okay, now I'm going to have this coming in to the object. And I'm going to take a look. I'm going to have this a little bit warm color coming over here. I'm going to have this break this a little bit and let the color come in. So we don't need that to be so clear, so sharp. Okay, I'm going to have this color coming in right here. That's is good. That's good. And in here, we also need to be a little bit softer. Okay, the edge over here. And outside, and also need to be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker over here. Okay, and right in here, we're gonna have a little bit darker, right in the edge here. That's the inside. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have this also open up the brush. And let this also connect it, get a little bit softer on the edge. We're going to let it dry before we come back to do the next round. I'm going to do a little adjusting. I'm doing, going to use the flat brush to do the lifting. Over here can be a little bit softer. The so first thing I'm going to soften this, just use the corner of this brush. Okay. Make that a little, a little bit softer from here because some light coming through this gap. That's just good. Second thing, we also need to soften this area. It's gonna have a little bit lighter. Okay, here you go. That's good. And now next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this inside over here. It's a slight a little bit darker. So what color is it? Mostly is the blue. Okay, I'm going to just have the little bit blue color. You can think about what color you're going to add to it. Just take that color. Okay, right here. 
let's add a little bit blue and coming down here like that and right here a little bit more blue that's good okay and then have a little bit red coming to the bottom over here we're also going to add that color just use the corner of this the edge of the brush right here okay this is good all right now we're going to just use the water soften that a little bit uh, this area consider i have some reflected light coming from the table okay Okay, lift up a little bit. Okay, now up over here. Now I'm going to soften that. Just use the water. That's as good. And now on the outside, I'm going to add a little bit darker color. And just very little bit darker. Because in the table here, we're going to make the outside over here appear to be a little bit lighter, like that. Okay, that's good. You can spread the color. And now we're looking at the table. And the front over here, we're going to make a little bit darker as well as and get a little bit blue and the red color maybe get a little bit yellow so get a little bit more gray a little bit more brown okay like this and i'm going to have this little dry brush and i'm going to connect connect that to the shadow and then from the cast shadow i'm going to have a little bit more blue and Connect it to, to the outside. Okay, here you go. Like that. So what a color you can work on it again and again. As long as your paper can support your application. Okay. Now I'm going to have this. The water to spread the color over. That's good. And the top over here, I'm going to make this a little bit softer. All right, I'm going to have a mix of the color and just the three color together okay you have to see what the color has yeah, come out and what i'm going to do in the shadow side and i'm going to have this a little bit softer like that from here i'm going to have this a little bit softer coming up like that connecting to I'm gonna also use the calligraphy brush now here you go I'm gonna have this spread the color up a little bit more and have this spread get a little bit more blue I see a little bit blue over here and have this also make this a little bit darker okay that's good Okay, wonderful. I'm gonna have that a little bit softer. Like that. That's good. And the edge, I can make it even darker. Okay, a little bit blue into it. Makes it a little bit cooler. Here you go. The edge over here. 
Asket. Like that. Asket. A big softer here. Coming over. Asket. And I'm gonna lift up. I think it's a little bit. Okay, we're gonna let it dry. The bottom over here. We're also gonna add a little bit dimmer. Like that. Careful the texture. We want the, the table texture more consistent from the left side going to the right side. Now I have the uh, light and shadow and create the form pretty well. Now I'm going to add a little bit deeper color into the catch the shadow. Now here you got just the blue and the red color. Now I'm going to take a look at is this color pretty dry. It's just dropping in the color. Squeeze it in. That's as good. Now make this even darker. But at the same time, I'm going to keep it a very a little bit soft. Okay, a little bit. Not too dark, but I want, to want this a little bit darker. Right there. Okay, that's good. Open the brush. I'm going to have this move up a little bit. Okay. And this also moving a little bit toward this side. Spread the color. Okay, like that. Okay, and have this a little bit softer. Gradually moving toward the right hand side. That's as good. Now, over here, we can also have a little bit darker. Right in here. Okay, we're going to spread the color a little bit. And also the edge will also have a little bit darker too. Uh, take a look at that. Right in here. Okay. Like that. That's good. Now I'm going to have this merge a little bit together. Like that. Looks pretty good. The top over here have a little bit of a brown color niche. Okay, right here. Okay, a little bit yellow. Right in here. That's good. And the top over here also have a little bit because this plane is facing to the top, not directly to the light. So this can be a little bit darker with a little bit brownish color. Okay. Now gradually you make the painting more and more finish. I'm going to have a little bit blue color over here too. See a little bit blue tone. And edge here to add that color too. Now I'm going to do the final wash into the shadow side. Right now it's quite a bit of changes in the shadow side. I'm going to have a little bit more yellow and the red mixed into here. So it appears to be a little bit more like a warm color, right? Get a little bit blue over here. That's a skip. It's pretty consistent. And all right, this is good. Now I'm going to do it from here all the way up. And watch the entire shadow. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. And having come a little bit more here and wash that up over here. And here you go. Now we make this a small consistent. This the whole area 
it is just a shadow so i'm gonna have this little bit watch that soften the edge over here that's just pretty good and at the same time i'm also going to use this color and also wash the outside over here connect to the shadow okay that's good and as well as this area a little bit dimmer that's good and then this painting is finished if you also like pastel you can see how i do this in another youtube channel the links in the video description i know that life can sometimes be headache and messy but i hope that with art you can relax and just enjoy the moment i will see you in my next video